Hey everybody, and in continuing uh, with the recent trend of videos that we've been doing this week, because there's no new premium like retail releases, uh, we're checking out another free game. This just came out on Asura, and it is called Boredom. And this is a... the easiest way to describe it is that it's kind of like that same mega hard style platformer as something like, I don't know, I want to be the guy. I usually equate Super Meat Boy uh, in these situations, but this is definitely meant to be more difficult than Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy gets that, like, constant comparison. Uh, or constant kind of, uh, theme, or, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It gets the constant flack that it's like the hardest platformer, but that's not really true. Uh, you know, Super Meat Boy, in my opinion, actually has a, uh, a fairly gentle learning curve. Uh, it, you know, things get difficult, but they slowly get difficult, at least in my opinion. You know, this is coming from someone who played a fuck ton of Super Meat Boy. Uh, this game, Boredom, by the way, again, I think I mentioned it, but it is free 100% on Desura. Uh, much more quickly ramps things up. This is definitely meant to be one of those, like, hard as nails, you know, pull your hair out, uh, kind of platformers, even though it might not seem like it just yet. But, uh, up there in the top left is our death counter. I've played this for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour so far, and my death counter is at 1 right now because I uh, restarted my save, but previously I was at over 100 deaths, uh, and be particularly because of a boss that we're going to fight very, very soon. There is a story here, by the way. Uh, we can skip through it a little more quickly by pressing F, and I actually think this game, it's not necessarily the best platforming game I've ever played in my entire life, but again, if you're, uh, you know, a little bit short on cash, uh, this might be a good way to spend a little bit of time this week, especially by the, oh, I apologize, by the way, for the amount of space, space bar mashing I'm gonna have to do with this video, because that's the way we hit these switches, is we have to hit the space bar, you know, 75 times, uh, but if you're a little, uh, light on cash, this might be a good way to spend, you know, maybe an hour this week. So, there's a, a few mechanics that we need, need to know here, but, you know, in terms of, uh, general platforminess. It's, it's pretty simple. We have a single jump, uh, which you can see right there, but we also have an air jump. We can't double jump. No, oh, that was terrible. Uh, we can't double jump, but we can uh, air jump if we just walk off the edge, and that's going to be something that we're going to use uh, quite frequently. So I guess that's the gimmick, is that there is an, an air jump involved in this game, and there's a lot of these damn platforms that break away. I haven't gotten... Oh, that's bad. I haven't gotten much further than this, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll, we'll fight an enemy pretty soon, and by fight, I mean basically just, you know, survive until it actually dies of its own accord. Uh, and then we'll do a, a little bit more platforming. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get in this video, this will probably be uh, on the side of a shorter let's look at. But, you know, there hasn't been very much coming out, uh, Xbox Live Arcade, PSN, or Steam this week. And I always kind of relish these opportunities. Uh, to take a look at some lesser known games, especially free stuff that, you know, for a change, people don't necessarily have to pay out the ass for to play. Now, apologies, because your ears are going to be violated. Up, oh, never mind. I made a terrible mistake there. Basically, that, that uh, spike wall that we just saw is going to rotate, and then that's going to come for us. So we have to mash the space bar as fast as possible to get that door open. Uh, oh my god, and that's really going to hurt your ears. By the way, it might seem like I'm just really bad at this game. Uh, you're half right. I'm really bad at this game, but at the same time, uh, it is really hard as well. Ah, I jumped a little bit too early there. There is a, we can use our F key, by the way, in order to, um, speed things up a little bit, but I don't actually know if we unlock that until we get a little bit further. All right, this has gone terribly so far. I'm not the kind of guy who, you know, uploads videos like this to basically do, like, a rage through or something like that and be like, oh, isn't it funny how this video game is smarter than me? Not to, you know, disparage anybody who necessarily does do that. Uh, but I will say this game, at times, uh, has kind of put me in that place where I've been like, okay, seriously, game? I, I, to a certain extent, I, I never really understood the, the point of, of games this difficult, at least the ones that ramp up so quickly. Like, I want to be the guy, sure, whatever, from what I understand from people who have actually spent a, a decent amount of time playing with playing it, uh, it's a good game, right? Like, I just can't get over that initial frustration. And again, I think it's unfair that Super Meat Boy always gets lumped in with those games, because sure, Super Meat Boy is a difficult game, there's some levels that are hard as hell in that, uh, but not in, like, the very first 15 minutes or so of the game. Okay, here we go. I apologize, by the way. Faster! Faster! Oh, I'm dead. Alright, we're gonna have to do that more quickly again. <laughs> I seriously apologize for the awful sounds that it is gonna make in your ears, but we gotta get past that in order to encounter kind of like the second phase of gameplay, which is where we're dealing with this asshole monster. Uh, there are, you know, disparaging or encouraging messages depending on your philosophy that you will see every single time we die. I don't know, I'm not sure if you can use the uh, Xbox 360 controller for this. I would be surprised if you were able to. Again, just because it's a, a free game on Desura. That doesn't necessarily mean controller capabilities are uh, impossible or incredibly unlikely to be in the game. I just think it's a little bit unlikely. Oh, come on. Don't let me down! Okay, we made it out of there. So that should be a checkpoint for us. I'm glad we got through there just so that you guys don't have to listen to that nonsense anymore. I don't think we're gonna, gonna come across any uh, serious 
uh, kind of problems with the spacebar doors anymore. At least not as far as I've actually played. By the time we fight this monster though, uh, we're probably gonna die like 20 times because it is the most annoying creature in the entire world. No, it's, it is one of those games uh, where... Okay, we can't use the F key yet, okay. Usually F is fast forward, but this is one of those games where, you know, the first time you do something, it's gonna take you a while to figure out the pattern. Uh, and then after that, you know, execution is gonna become a little bit easier, because, you know, practice makes per perfect. Uh, I was gonna say practice makes purchase, not meant to be like a subtle uh, call to action or anything there, but... Um you know, on, on future attempts, it's not going to be as difficult. So what we basically want to do is just, you know, basically jump around this guy as if we were crowded house. And uh, after we get him to fall on these spikes... Oh, I'm going to get hit. Yep. Damn falling rocks. I mean, I'm using a little bit of my imagination. It's almost like playing uh, like a vector graphics game here. I, I wonder why we still can't use the F key. You must have to die like seven times or something to be able to use the F key. Or maybe it's just disabled when you're recording the game. I'm not sure what's up with that though. Normally you can hold the F key and speed things up uh, drastically, but uh, apparently I don't have that option yet. Which is also good because it it um, when it, if you it's like uh, the analogy I always make where with like Russian hockey players during training they would like skate with parachutes so that. Uh, when they took the parachutes off, they would be much faster because they're acclimated to a much more difficult system. Uh, you know, when you normally... Oh, that was so stupid of me. Uh, when you normally play on a faster setting, like by holding down the F key in this game, uh, then it becomes a lot slower uh, when you let go of the F key and you can actually, you know, time your moves a little bit more appropriately. So again, uh, this is not necessarily a triumph of game design, I would say. I mean, obviously, graphically, it's pretty simplistic, and I mean, it's extraordinarily simplistic. I, I don't disparage games for that, but certainly, uh, let's just say free is the right price for this, because even if this was five bucks, even if it was three bucks on Steam, I'm pretty sure I would be here saying, like, eh, I don't necessarily think this is worth it. And I'm normally a, a big defender of, you know, paying artists and designers for their time and, you know, the work that they've created. Uh, more so than a certain, ah, oh, god damn it, certain proportion of the community, uh, at least. But in this case, free is definitely the right price, and it works well because I think, you know, given that this is coming out on a, a fairly major distribution platform on Desura, uh, I think this could reach a lot of people, and I think a lot of people could have, you know, like a fun half hour or 45 minutes of this game. This is certainly not, uh, you know, papers please, where it's gonna be like a free game that maybe will have some kind of emotional effect on you. The only emotional effect that this game has had on me is frustration. But at the same time, it's been a reasonably good, uh, way spend some time. We're, I'm gonna play in all likelihood until I get past this dude at the very least. Uh, he's annoying as hell. And again, this is what I mean. This is one of those games where, you know, conceptually things are not... Oh, Jesus Christ. Conceptually things are not that difficult. You can see what we have to do here. It's not a puzzle platformer where we're like, oh, I don't understand how to kill this square with triangles all over it. It is uh, much more an execution style uh, platformer. Not just execution in the sense that it executes us on the regular, but uh, execution style uh, in that, you know, it's easy to figure out what to do, it's just substantially more difficult to actually do it in practice. So, uh, we've got to get this guy to fall on the spikes three times. The real problem, like, this would be pretty damn easy, or at least substantially easier, uh, if there weren't these falling rocks, but unfortunately there are these falling rocks, and uh, every time that this dude falls down, they fall a little bit further. We can actually cheese the fight a little bit here by just jumping straight up and down. I think I might have botched it. I botched it right at the end there, but that's the way that I beat him the first time. You just kind of stand on the edge of his third form, and then, uh, you know, contrary to the popular image macro, this is his final form. Uh, and if we manage to defeat him, then it will be all good going forward. I can understand that this would be frustrating to watch. If it is, this is probably not the game for you because it's very frustrating to play as well. Even though it might just look like I'm terrible. Uh, I Well, that was not really going to offer much in my defense there. But uh, in my defense, normally, uh, th this game, it's one of those games where things look easy to do, but they're actually much harder to do, again, in execution. But in any case, this shouldn't be too bad. I died against this guy literally 65, 75 times. Uh, my first time through the game, and, you know, I hesitate to say this, because, oh, Jesus Christ, I did exactly the same thing again. I hesitate to say this, because a number of people are going to be like, well, Northern Lion, you're pretty shitty at video games, actually. But, you know, when it comes to platformers, I'm actually, at least in my own estimation, fairly adept. Like, didn't have any problems with guacamole outside of the stuff that you saw in the video. Maybe I just suck at video games when I talk over top of them. That's not wholly true. Uh, I oftentimes suck at video games when I'm playing them on my own time as well. But in any case, let's focus here. Hocus Pocus by Focus, and we should be able to just jump over this man. It's the falling rocks, man. Everything else is normally fairly 
okay to deal with. That was a tight one, actually. Uh, that's what he said. I don't even know. I don't feel good about that joke whenever I make it. And we're... Oh, I could kind of had it right there, but not quite. Uh, you know what? We're going to give this three more, try three more tries, and if I fail it... Uh, on all three tries, then I guess we'll just end the video here and you can check out Boredom for yourself. I do encourage you to check this out, uh, despite the fact that it's, you know, of the free games that I've played recently, it's probably my least favorite. It's definitely had the least uh, lasting impact compared to uh, Papers, Please, and No One Has to Die. That being said, you know, it's still, it's, you know, one of those standard mega hard platformers. Uh, you know, I, I've played about an hour of I Want to Be the Guy, uh, and I would say that uh, that one appeals to me a little bit more just because it's got those references to you know past gaming culture and it's got a little bit more character to it as well uh, but if you've already played through that maybe and if you liked that or you know at least tolerated it because I guess the frustration is part of the fun there if you want to brag to your friends about how you were able to beat unfair platformer uh, then this might be for you and I would not be surprised to see this show up on some face cam rage throughs sometime soon perhaps with a heart rate monitor uh, but you know I'm not going to be that guy. That was a terrible dodge there. One last try here at boredom before I give up the ghost. I swear to God I'm able to beat this guy. Later you get a gun. There's platforming puzzles that are kind of similar to like the Mega Man 2 uh, dragon fights. That might be Mega Man 3. I can't remember. Uh, the, I think it's Mega Man 3 actually. Yeah, the, the Mega Man 3 dragon fight. You got to fight like this monster again except this time he's got a jetpack. It gets, it gets more fun honestly. There's some serious like laser puzzles as well which I was actually fairly good at. I just think this is kind of an example. It's, it's funny to talk about stuff like this with a game that's you know literally zero cost to the player apart from his time. Uh, but I think this boss fight is almost like a little bit of a design issue. Uh, as I die again. We'll give this one more damn try. I am starting to get a little bit legitimately frustrated here though. Um, press R to try again and we'll get started. Again, I, for some reason, normally you're able to use the F key and speed things up, but uh, can't do that here. Maybe that was uh, an update that was added because I disabled all updates for this game, but in any case, just because I didn't want my, you know, this free game that I picked up for a nice diversion on Desura uh, to take up too much of my bandwidth. It is like 38 megabytes or something like that, which is pretty, I mean, it's crazy small, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, it's 38 megabytes for this? Maybe there is a good reason for that. The music is actually, it's pretty solid uh, when you actually hear it, which is not all that often. But really, I guess this, oh, I'm going to die. You know what? I think that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's look at boredom. There will be a link in the video description uh, to play this yourself if you are so inclined. You know what? Let's give this one more try. That is my end of video pitch. But uh, if you are so inclined, there will be a link in the video description to check this out. But really, you just have to go into Desura, assuming you have the client installed, uh, and then play it for free. It's a nice little diversion. It's incredibly frustrating. I have, you know, it has some flaws. I think the, the difficulty curve, as you can probably tell from this video, uh, at least my difficulty curve on a personal level, has ramped up way too quickly for uh, for my taste. Like, this boss is substantially harder than the puzzles that come before it, and substantially harder than a lot of the platforming sections that come after it, at least immediately after it. Mostly due to these goddamn falling rocks. Yep, there we go. Alright, this is a good time to end it. I, I apologize for any frustration that this video might have caused and my poor play. Uh, but, you know, this is pretty much... The, what the, it's the reason d'etre, apologies for my terrible French pronunciation, by the way, uh, for this game. It's meant to frustrate you, uh, it's meant to stymie you at every opportunity, and, uh, you know, it's free on the so go check it out if you're interested. As always, thank you guys for your support, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.